Gracias, my friends. I am Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, last time, we took out Maximilian because he got a little too angry at us, and we said, bro, hold on, don't hit me with, with those robots, so we took him out, even though we struggled quite a bit. So right now, I'm gonna let's address a few comments from yesterday's video. First of all, why am I not buying weapons with my caps? That's a very, very awesome question to ask, and that is because I normally don't remember to. That's why. And actually, do we? I don't think we even can do that. Uh, Republic of the Rio Grande, Promises of Peace, Government Loans, Interaction with Followers... I don't think we are allowed to use the black market. Undesirables, New Mutants Allowed, Local Leaders, Chems Ban, Slavery Outlawed... Ooh! Yeah, we can get slavery. Maybe we should get some slaves. But that doesn't really fit in with the Republican tradition, I suppose. Ooh, Muslim Descent. More is this political power. Less political power. Oh, The State Press. I like that, but yeah, uh, the reason I don't do that, I don't I don't see black market anywhere. Manage our subjects. The Congress, I mean, I, I might be blind. I might be blind here. I, I really don't see it here. Like, oh, there it is. I told you, I'm blind. Totally blind. Totally, totally blind. Can I... Yes. So this is why, because I wasn't paying attention to this at all. So I am blind. Even though I wear glasses, I am still blind. Let's go buy some caps. Buy some caps? Well, we can't buy caps. We got caps. Oh well. Anyways, next comment. Should I use special forces or not? Because I was debating whether to get rid of them, maybe, maybe not. And there's enough support from everyone who commented yesterday that I should keep special forces. I'm going to keep them and use them for naval invasions. Or at least I hope to do so. Amphibious invasions. They get a little less movement speed, but these are going to be the guys who basically are going to be our marines in this campaign. Hopefully, though, I will remember to use or do naval invasions, but we do have a navy coming along next up. Someone complimented that I don't wildly press buttons and I actually read most of the events. Yeah, I've been doing that for a while. People recommended that when I started playing Old World Blues, I think. So, I'm going to keep doing that. Anyways, don't forget River Crossings with Santa Ana. I know. I really know. I just don't have enough divisions to guard all my lines. So, it is what it is. Uh... Hopefully it doesn't attack soon. Next up, I asked you guys yesterday, should I use ballistic weaponry or energy weapons? Now, there's support on both sides. And energy weapons are better for heart attack and piercing. But overall, the support, most of the support, the majority of the support, I should say, went to ballistic weaponry. But like I said before, this is not a democracy, but I do take your opinions in consideration. So we're going to go with ballistic weaponry for this, for this campaign. I think that'd be kind of nice. And we can maybe have a high noon shootout with ballistic weaponry. Not really with lasers lasers but with ballistic weaponry that being said we're trying to be energy efficient and there's i renamed some of our units oh what the heck you did not change that huh for example we have changed some of the names of these apc divisions and let us change the the army group here to chariotas mexicano that's probably not how you say it in, in spanish i almost said mexican but spanish um that's probably not how you spell chariots but we're going to roll with it. If it's wrong, I'm sure someone's going to let me know in the comments below. we got some command power here. Get more attack. Infantry uh, capture equipment ratio probably isn't too bad. Do we have any recon? No, we don't. So that really wouldn't be very nice for now. We could maybe get that later. Hmm. I never choose Idiot Savant. I do want more attack, though. I mean, i got to get attack on our guys who mostly attack. We're trying to get up more political power. Or, no, more compliance to core Monterey, which would be great. We can core this, but that takes too much right now. Right now, we're currently doing the focus. Reclaim the Rio Grande. Oh, what is I love democracy. What does that say? Art of haggling. Make a purchase with caps. Nice. Oh, select a new presidente. Oh, I've never done that before. What are we missing? Manpower? Guns? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. We'll do fine on that soon enough. And actually, because of that, I'm going to go lower this amount for now. We definitely need more saws. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Go and do that. That'd be good. Next up, we're going to keep you at three. Special Forces is looking pretty good. You know, if that's the case, we will make one more of these guys as well. Just one. So we have two divisions to navally, navally invade all the time. I think that would be very, very important. We're going to reclaim the Rio Grande. Uh, the boy from the bayou. Well... We probably want to do Vindicta. More mobilization speed, recruitable population. Vengeance against the Legion, that's the national spirit we get. We create the Rio Pact. Do we really want to do that first? Or maybe we want to do Gloria Military Academy? 
Department of Conventional Warfare would be actually really, really useful right now. Change of Democracy. Radic looks pretty good. War Games. Uh, XP. Stuff around here. Naval Designs. Concepts. Dockyards. Three ships with long bolt holes. I mean, these look all really good. I do want to get down here just to get the land auction done first. So, Military Innovations. We've got some tricks up our sleeves. Ha! Ha! Ah, and there we go. We have 1.28 thousand manpower. And we basically just double that. Awesome. And we get no resistance down here. And we can use these factories much better. 58, my friends. 58 factories. I said factorinos, but I never played factorio. Anyways, factories. Good. And then we can core this stuff. We could probably core that stuff. Even though it's not really worth it. I don't know if we get cores on all stuff later on. Oh, wait. It's a colony state. Huh. So it's not an occupied state. It's just a colony state. Wow, okay, not bad, not bad. We currently get 1.65 political power a day. How many caps we got? Uh, let's see. Can I maybe buy some more eventually? I mean, I can. Let's see. Lobbies the deputies, which actually might be a good thing to do. Let's see. The deputies' opinion of Dante Guerra are increased three times. Eh, it's only a little, just a tiny bit less political power every day, so that's pretty good to do. We can clothe peoples? Well, I like naked people. Hmm. Gira can make Congress build a new factory, although this forced industrialization will upset some people. So we get a civilian workshop. Uh, other people, like Rosado, Rosado and Mora, their popularity gets increased. Which I don't exactly like, but it's a free civilian factory. We can probably don't have to do that. Bonds. I said before, we don't like the bonds here. We already have enough. Tried and true, steady... Steady as she goes, I guess we'll say. Steady as she goes. You know, I also don't mind. It's a 20 combat width. Make two of these at the same time, though. Just so that we have a good army of divisions that might be able to hold the line. Maybe. Concentrated assault, a little bit more soft attack. Just a tiny bit more supply use. That's okay with me. Nice. Ooh. We Do we have that yet? No, we don't. Good. Military innovations. Gloria Military Academy. We must study war so our children can study peace. Yes, and if that's the case, we are trying to train that one. I want to grab two more generals. Let's see. Ooh, that's not bad. Who wants to be field marshal? More defense, recovery rate, planning speed, max planning, or more speed, but more supply consumption. Ooh, not bad. Speed is pretty good. We get a little bit more attack here. You learn less, you get less planning speed. I say fast metabolism. Even though we lose supp su some supply consumption, eh, I mean, it could be worse. And of course, we're going to have to go with Smooth Talker. I just always have to do that because I like it the most. Look at that Naval XP. That is looking delicious. I'm also considering adding on or researching more Naval Techs. And this is going to be pretty important to do. Energy cell game per thingamabob. This isn't bad. If anything... Just get something that will help us slightly get naval techs faster so we can put them on our ships. We don't have to have the best ships. We just need some of the best upgrades on our ships because the AI never upgrades their ships. So even a little bit of an upgrade on the basic ships will prove to be very, very useful. Hmm. Actually, can we see the deputies? No, I think we already won. So would this really even matter? Can... And we have 64% dynamite. I love it. it. Gives us a little bit more soft attack. Hmm, I'm definitely going to get focus fire soon because of the people around us. Logistics, that's going to be important as well. Could use more war support too. Lobbies of deputies. Good. We can do the same thing. You know what? Let's do that and then we'll do that as well. You can just give me that civilian factory. I don't think this is going down a little bit. Oh, that's because we're recruiting more population. Duh. What am I thinking? Or am I not thinking? I'm probably not thinking. Stability's not bad. I would like more, but I would really like more war support. Really would like more. Lord of the Wastes. Great. Well, that went by really quickly. Glory Military Academy. Good. Next up, we should do Department of Conventional Warfare and then continue going down the central focus tree. So, the Republic of the Rio Grande doesn't need robots of special forces to prevail. A free people with plenty of conventional firearms are unstoppable. Good. So, the only deficit we have right now is APCs and fire teams. We should probably max those out. Yeah. Even though this is probably not a good idea, we'll do that. We'll do that. 
Ultra. Oh, buddy boy, we need some of that. Dogs are coming along very nicely. We don't really need to do that too much. These will be very, very important to do as well right here. Do it like that. Ball City, Clever One, Cyclops, Tribes. We have some more political power. We can buy more guns, which isn't bad. We can increase our trust with the black market dealers. Maybe we'll get some support equipment. It's not a bad idea. We don't have that many divisions. We're still making enough of that, so I feel pretty good about that. Anything else here? Who do we want to hire? So I did say I do want to go to outside of battalions, but right now it'll be okay. Caravan guards, local sheriff, conquistador. Mm, general, wait and see. Pablo seems pretty important. Angry, we can wait on that as well. Fighters, canoe. Hmm, both garbage. Both kind of garbage. Ah, the barrenness of trade. Very cool. A minor baron. Eh, just go and grab him, just so we get just slightly more political power. It's not worth very much, but that's okay. 1.78 is not bad. We do want as much political power to course up as fast as possible, but that's okay. Are we? Oh, we're still missing equipment here. That's not good. APCs, of course, and fire teams. That's all right. Combat robots. We might make robots in the ends, maybe someday if we want to use them for suppression stuff. If I wanted to go to war with somebody, I don't know. Pecos colony. Would it be possible for us to fight them? We could get him as an ally, but they're not that strong. Hmm, how long would it take for us to go to war with them? That's not bad. If I could grab more factories. You know what, we could try that. And as soon as I go to war with them, someone else will probably go to war with me, even though I know I could add them to the real pact. I know that for a fact. I don't know, I think I prefer more factories under me right now. Hmm. And make sure we continue building this up. And I am beginning to run out of places to build stuff, but not really. Make sure you do that. Good. After that, we'll come here. After that, we'll do here. And I know I could be using this for naval dockyards, but whatever. Department of Conventional Warfare. We could do this stuff. Democracy. We can wipe. Actually, Chico Net. Common Weaponry. Clalo Khan has researched that. Nah, he's dead. So, let us do Vindicta. Guerra will get revenge on Kaiser and anyone who threatens honest, hardworking Mexicans. Rio prepares for war. Yeah, that's... Mm, you know what? If we're doing that, we might as well do this as well. Make it three. Make it three whole divisions. Now, to attack Pecos Colony, this might not go very well. It probably won't go very well, to be honest with you. But that's okay. That's okay. Get, grab that. Alright, one, two, three. Wait, oh. Ah, I see. You actually want one, two, three. Nice. You know what? If I only have two divisions here, they the enemy might be tempted to attack my lines. And even though this does put us quite a bit closer with Kaisar, which I don't like, it might be useful in the end. It might be very useful to do it like this. Just to get factories earlier on. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Something tells me I'm going to move these guys around later on. Cool. Uh, we could do naval invasions with this one, but probably not. We'll probably be okay without doing it. Should be able to break over there. Should, if we wanted to. Oh, wait. Oh, oh I'm just a... Well, no wonder. That's my fault. I spent political power like that. Oh, 75 days. That's not too bad. That's not. That's really not too bad, then. Getting more war support, because world, uh, world tension's at 100%. That's pretty bad. Lobbies of deputies. We might as well. Commission an armory. Oh, yeah. Oh. Consumer goods factories, 5%. Oh, I don't like that. Consumer goods. Oh, you know what? It's only 10. Medical chem technology is good. Cartela de, de, de Sinaloa. I can't speak today. Freedom is the right of every Westlander. Yeah, I don't want to get involved with them. Just tell them that we don't like them that much. Vindicta. Good. Even though it's probably not a good idea to try to create the real pact as we're killing Pecos Colony. But anyways, the true north, strong and free. Mm, I'm going to do that after I kill off Pe Pecos Colony, just so we can. Ooh, war support. The Matador. Burning Heart. Let's get some more factories first. We get a general here. Ooh, Academy. That's nice. That's pretty nice. Sacrifice soldiers. Claims and a war goal for Kaiser's Legion's core territories. The Conquered. Quite Rebellion. To arm rebels. 
cool from the ashes. This seems very dangerous. Mexico's greatest face. Oh, that'd be good. Mexico's greatest heel. I'm going to go with the Matador. So even after the Great War, Mexico honored its bullfighters, and Guerra would often enter the ring to show off its prowess. Now watch Guerra slay the greatest bull of the wastes. Well, right now we can't do that, but uh, we're working on it, my friends. We're working on it. Besides, if, as long as we have to hold here, that's all we have to hold. That's not too bad. Obviously, Kaiser will probably try to pull some other stuff, but maybe we'll be able to get to a war against Kaiser as he's fighting the NCR. That's probably the best case scenario for us. Yeah, that's probably the best case scenario. Hmm, that's a little bit of two at a time. Let's go and just grab some more output, because output is key right now. Do we need more guns? Not really. We need more fire teams and APCs, of course. Oh. We... Yeah, keep building, keep building, keep building. All right, sell outdated equipment. We could get some caps back, but well, we can wait on that. Promises of peace, blah, blah, blah. Not bad. Another spec ops division, and I... And I will rename, like, this APC division to something else, because I have, like, a list here from what people already suggested from yesterday's video. I will rename it between this episode and the next. Happy 2278, my friends, though. Happy New Year. So, as time goes on, let me know. What other names should we put on our APCs? So, and I'll try to keep in mind that you have suggested those names. Let's see. The Rio's Burning Heart. Gloria's Steel Mills are the pride of the Republic, a sign that we are one of the few nations that actually builds instead of living off the scraps of the past. Guerra will expand them to prepare for war. Two, two arms workshops and a civilian workshop as well. 67 factories. Not bad. But we must, 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 must prepare ourselves for an, an inevitable conflict pretty much from every direction except for Texas because we already dealt with the Texans under Todd Howitzer. And we've got to make sure that they don't rebel against us. They don't get too much autonomy. They have six divisions, rioters, which are comprised of four enforcers each, which doesn't leave me with a bunch of confidence in them, but whatever. Whatever. See, they've... We might be able to break across their string telephones. Cool. Do some of that as well. Uh, you guys are not looking great. Yeah, maybe we should do a focus that gives us more dockyards, perhaps? We should have done this earlier. Max planning. Uh, we can do that, but then I'm going to have to wait so I can core more stuff down here. Actually, we can core this one too. That's just, this is a better one to core. It costs a lot of political power, though. 300? But it'd be worth getting almost 15,000. Less resistance, tons of compliance. I could lower this. From How much does this cost us? 0.61. I'm, I'm going to give it a wasteland pacification. We're doing well enough with that. That vampire's not doing good. well, though. Rio's burning heart. Together for Rio. Do we need any more resources right now? No, we're doing pretty well except for water. Water's dangerously low. We're about to die of thirst here. The home effort. Less stability, more production efficiency growth, and factory output. I forgot I have some Earl Grey tea here for Mexico. Mexican Earl Grey tea. Ooh, Mexico's greatest failure. Ooh, I like that. The state of Reynosa. Armageddon waiting. Old World Glory, Wasteland Ambitions, a history repeats itself, we get a nuke. Power to the people, public works. Oh, nice. Family Traditions, Protector of Mexico, we guarantee everyone, which sounds really, really dangerous. Or just protect the north, I think we'll probably protect the north. Ooh, more free manpower? Oh, I can't go down this way because Gira has to be merciless. But that only lasts for like 80 days, which isn't really good. The Decimation. I like that sound. That sounds really nice. That looks really good as well, but... Two Sons Over Paradise. Huh. It's because we're on Kaiser's Legion. That's good. Red Sun at Night. Red Sun Republic. Ooh! The Red Sun Republic Revolts. Oh, I like that a lot. From the Ashes. Phoenix Republic? Ooh, very nice. That sounds really awesome. But let's do the Great Arms Race. Or, maybe not yet. Hold on. I lied. I completely lied. Hmm. I did say I want some dockyards. Home development, habitation, building, tech, resources. Oh, there's more water. Gloria Harbor. Let's do that one. So, although the Rio wasn't designed for ocean-going vessels, we can improve their harbor, or our harbor, somewhat. And there goes the water. Hmm. That tea's pretty good. Concentrated assault. Awesome. Now we have a bonus to get motorized deployment quicker. And we can go to war with these guys, which is probably a bad idea, but you know what? We'll see what happens. Ooh, they can cover their entire lineup pretty well. Oh, wait, do we? 
Oh, we already created our faction. Nice, it's a beautiful faction. It's a probably bad idea. Do they attack me? No, good. So, you five, you might be able to break over there as long as a TAA comes in. Or T. Estado de Texas. Tejas. Tejas. This is Mexico we're talking about. Tejas. Oh, you immediately attack. Okay. I doubt you guys could really win over here like that. Yeah, you definitely can't win there. Uh, against a single division, you should be able to win. And from there, we'll spread down south. Yeah, I don't want to immediately... Uh, don't want to attack that way. Hmm. Those motorized... Motor mongoloids. I'm just going to say, wow. Oh, you added another division. That's not good. You know what? I might just have to navally invade. Or I pull you over here, and you help out and invade that way. Yeah, maybe we'll do a naval invasion if we can't break over. That infantry is getting pretty weak. Our guys are doing okay. Oh. Bait them into attacking me. Do we have some extra battle cruisers? I guess. Yes. Oh, yeah. You guys can stop training. We have three battle cruisers. Wow. Go ahead and do that first. We want some more longboats first. There you go. Do it like that, maybe. There you go. Nice. Hey, we broke over. Radio. Nice. Give me half of you guys. You guys come up there. You get one guy to come this way as well. That'd be fine. Just leave one guy to defend there for now. You can help attack, perhaps. That'd be kind of nice. Actually, you can help support the attack. Maybe come over here. Surround that port. Take it. APCs are doing well by themselves. Well, well enough. And Gloria Harbor. Hmm. The Radic. Let's go the Radic. We get more motorized attack and defense. Division speed goes up, though, too. Or maybe not. Maybe we should wait. Naval Think Tank? Sure, why not? The people of Mexico are ready and willing to fight for the country. And now we will learn how to do it. Yes, how to do it. Oh, good. Oh, wait. You are the... Pata is fighting the Sin Sinaloa Cartel. You are fighting also Levia. Huh. They really don't like cartels. Well, I can't blame them, but still. Now you can help support the attack. You are definitely fighting over a river. Good. You probably, guys could probably do that. Take them out. Nice. I want you to come over here and just cut those guys off. Nice. Another APC for us. And I'm going to try to cut all those guys off, maybe. We'll see what happens. They're busy. They're very busy right now. So don't let them move. Really don't let them move. For realsies. And... Nice. Very good. Now, I might lose this division, but go straight for Pecos. And we have broken across, and we're going to kill these guys off immediately. Good. And so you got to kill one Scorpions? Awesome. I am saving up political power to get that other thing down south finished. So we can court. Ooh, Lee, do you have anything for us? Not really. That's okay. That's okay, Lee. You don't always have to have things for us. Beautiful. Now let's reorganize this. You guys. Actually, I'm going to just send you right here. Go to something like that. You'll do a great job. Oh, we got encircled. That's not good. You're going to beat him up. Because you can. You guys are going to come there. Hey! Luchadores! Want to help out? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So really, this time I'm spending now is to build my army up for, against Kaisar. I know I won't have enough divisions for it, but that's okay for now. Very good, very good. You might want to try that. You might want to do that and hold them in place. We can beat those guys up. We got some storage compartments. Uh, optic filters sound very nice right now, too. Ah, I like cruiser. Good. You might consider doing that. You might find something here. You might not. But if you do, you might find something really good. All right, so you guys are getting attacked. Go straight here first. And then after that, then that, and then you guys come all the way down here. You'll probably get encircled, but that's okay. And you don't need to come all the way to that. There you go. Ah, naval think tank. Do we get more free dockyards? Dockyards, yeah. We do. So let's do that one first. We should probably improve the harbor that is actually downriver, shouldn't we? Probably. Wow, that manpower is not looking very good. So I'm going to probably actually, instead of coring stuff... Get Frontier Militias, even though it takes 434 political power to do. Wow. But well, we double the recruitable population, which is good. Which is very, very good. Mm, go ahead and do that. Backyard workshops, good. Go ahead and do that as well. Nice, we overran that division. 
Very good. Go straight for Picos. Obvious new deal. Which means we have drastically reduced ability to construct civilian workshops. It's unfortunate. But we're really focusing on uh, armed workshops now. We got encircled, but not really. But not really. You guys come down that way so you can beat people up because we can. We need to grab that tile. I just want to encircle these guys. That'd be a lot of fun. Come on. Beat them up. Beat them up. Cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. There's four divisions there. We cut off. Uh, let everyone go now. That's fine. Good. Couple encirclements here and there. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, you guys can probably come that way. Beat these guys up. Send you guys to do something over towards Ben Horn. Actually, come that way, probably. Yeah, we definitely need more manpower for this. And it helps us get more army XP, which is always very, very important. Oh, uh, we don't care about Zapata. We should have enough anti-tank at this point. Yeah, 254. It's not a ton, but yeah, it's better than nothing. You guys go that way. Maybe link up with these guys down here, perhaps. Link up that way, perhaps. And you might want to come that way. Cut them off from the capital. Oh, you guys can come up there. There you go. You guys come here, 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 here. These guys are all cut off. I love the green. And you guys go straight for Van Horn. How many minutes? We lost 221. That's not bad. We killed over, over a thousand. Nuevo Laredo, Laredo River. Combat exercises. If we need that, we can wait. Let us continue doing. Ooh, time the healer. Oh, yeah. More daily political power, stability, factory repair speed, very fast infrastructure construction speed, and civilian factory speed. So, I love the description. RRG time the healer desk. I love the desk. Beautiful. And they're close to 2,000. Nice. Very nice. Oh, they're taking a little towel here, but what? no one cares. Mm. Oh, that's ooh, that's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Do that one. Refine tools is better. And with all this army XP that we are getting right now, we will be able to do our land doctrine a little quicker. It will be very nice. Beat them up. Even though I can't really support the manpower loss right now. That's okay. And they should be gone. Now, I could make my puppet... That's an interesting idea, actually. Maybe I should make it my puppet. Hmm. Puppet or annex? I don't have the manpower to really annex them right now, so let's puppet them. I almost never choose puppeting. We already have Texas as a puppet, so we might as well have Pecos Colony. So we could maybe use their manpower for now. Oh, look at that. Now it's white? Interesting. Very interesting. For now, I'm going to continue guarding against these guys. That'd be very good, you guys. Even though that might have seemed like a waste to some people. It might have been. I don't know. I just wanted to go to war. Get more naval XP. Good, good, good. And we'll lobby the deputies. We'll do this as well. Help give us more monthly population. Even though it's not a lot, 23, we still get a factory out of it, which is awesome. Next up. Yeah, APCs. New Victoria declared War on Broken Coast. We do have a border with these guys, but that's okay. That's okay for now. We might be able to core these guys later, integrate them. Which would be very nice. We currently get 1.65 political power. We need more stability. And there goes our manpower. If that's the case, you know what? I will lower this too. Spark out us. We get some manpower back, hopefully. There we go. 200 guys. Not much. Especially after we make another APC division. Uh, if that's the case, go ahead and lower that by one. Save on our manpower for now. Armor assault craft. We get some. Tank breakthrough and armor, which really isn't super useful for us right now. So, it is what it is. Let's see. Now we're going to do this. So, the true north, strong and free. The people of northern Mexico can stand together against the tyrants and despots across the wastes. And Rio will form the heart of this new free society. So, I really don't know. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have just court him, but I don't have the manpower for it right now. Like I said before. Just don't have the manpower. Optic filters. Very good. Go ahead and grab some of that. Go ahead and grab some of that. You guys, train instead for now, because you can. Two more divisions. Great. Marrow Drinkers, very nice, very nice. We do have still have some army XP. We have no manpower though, so you guys should probably get some recon. Mm, I'm probably gonna say anti-tank. It lowers our armor, but we've gotta make sure that these guys can pierce enemies. Probably the lobby of these guys, it's only, it's so cheap, it doesn't even matter. Uh, can we get some water from these guys? Yes, I will get that water. Nice. 
Demand demilitarization. We lose war support, god dang it, and political power. Well, screw you, man. So you guys, even though we killed off a lot of their divisions, they have no divisions, they got a little bit of manpower back, which is kind of good. Kind of good. Oh, we got some irrigation. Nice. We're gonna grab... Hmm. We're gonna grab... Oh. 169 days. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some healing powder. That could be pretty darn useful. And we have expended... Expended? Expanded or packed. Let's heal. Has one that great rematch. Has one that great rematch. Has one. Has n not has one. So, Mexico's greatest face. The Los Luchadores Libres will stand up for truth, justice, and the Mexican way. Time to dropkick Kaiser's boys. Oh, that is not good. We need... We're missing one manpower. Oh, buddy boy, we definitely need more manpower. Hmm. Spreading outposts. It's still going down, so which is nice. Still very nice. Mm, could get a free 15,000 right now. It's probably a bad idea to do it like this. It's probably just best. It's best to wait to get to at least frontier militias, which doubles the amount of population we have. Even though I love coring stuff and reducing, re reducing resistance and getting more slots unlocked, ultimately I think this is the better path to take. So, why I like to declare one new Canaan. We got tons of political power. We got to save up. Uh, Umbra is. Are you? This looks weird. The Western Brotherhood owns a she. Umbra is in the Brotherhood of Steel, so that's why they're all extended. The White Legs look pretty good. They already took out the 80s. Not bad. Do some of that. Hang dogs are looking pretty thick. Holy cow. That's some. Th those are some thick doggies. There's no troll worn, but. Oh, there we go. They've joined the Rio Pact, my friends. Mexico's greatest. Face. Something tells me we're all headed towards war here. Eliminate criminal elements. Ooh, on the Sinaloa Cartel's region. Hmm. How strong are these guys? They got a lot of manpower. Couple divisions. Couple divisions. We do have a little breakaway thing we could maybe force ourselves into there. We could make our allies stronger by eliminating them. Statehood for all. Well, we could invite other people to join. To join, join the Republic of the Rio Grande. Huh. The people of northern Mexico would do better to stand together. Joining the Rio Pact was the first step. Sending delegates and taxes to Rio will be the second. Yeah, I guess fighting Pecos Colony was kind of a waste. That was my fault. But now I know. Clothe people? Hmm. The yeah, consumer use goods. Let's just do that. Nice. Where's that? Stockton? Oh, yeah. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, look at that. Very good. They joined the jungle pack down south. Okay, very cool, very cool. And if that's the case, we got to make sure these guys are all good to go eventually. Actually, how big is our pack right now? Oh, look at that. Even more divisions. This is nowhere near the amount of divisions that we really need. But the real pack is looking pretty nice. Looking not too bad. And the jungle pack, of course, down here. Kaiser's Legion. They're not all the way up here. That's just really weird not seeing them up owning Dog City. It's very weird for me. Alright, if that's the case, you guys... You guys are, you guys will do fine. There's no waterway around here either. Two, three, four, five. It's gonna guard, uh... Oh, wait. There literally is no waterway. Huh. Well, just in case, you kind of hang out around that. I'm gonna wait for a little bit more manpower. Pro Grey Team. So good. Heart of Mexico. Oh, can we lower this? No, we can't. God dang it. Ooh, that is not bueno, my friends. Not bueno. 79% stability, though. Not bad. Refined tools? Awesome. Let's grab... Something else. 0.3 is not bad. A little bit ahead of time. Let's grab this. More defense. I do appreciate more defense. Armored assault? Good. Got the land doctrine done. Let's get some more supplies, but really more speed. I never go down mechanized path. It's kind of weird for me to do so. The trading guild is a beacon of talent. Joins... Oh! This is a faction research thing. That's not too bad, trading guilds. To build a railway across northern Mexico, we can eliminate criminal elements, though. Los luchadores libres can, without our support, take down the cartels that plague northern Mexico. Let's tag team the bastardos. Yes, very good. Now we're looking pretty good on everything. You know what, we might even sell a few guns to get a little bit more money now. Oh wait, 
Pecos Colony, more like Pecos State. Join or die. Well, I mean, we already made you join or die. Make Las Granjas a real commonwealth. Oh, I want to do that, but that costs political power, and I don't like that. I mean, this doesn't cost almost anything, but, uh... Oh, I want to make him a puppet, but I need more manpower. I have to get more manpower. We're missing a whole manpower. Oh! Okay, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen the Brotherhood go to war with the Marlow Tribe, but they're looking pretty thick. Nice. I kind of hope the Marlow Tribe wins. Even though fighting the Brotherhood as a Marlow Tribe is a little difficult. Uh, I have played as them before. It's fun, but it was a little difficult, like I said. But if you haven't checked out that video before, go check it out. It's actually got a lot of views. The first episode of my Marlow Eggy uh, campaign. Probably the most viewed video I've ever made. And I know why. And I know exactly why. Good. Uh, put that up there, too. We are doing really well on supplies. We're even making triplanet. We got plenty of this, too. Wow. Wow, we're doing doing pretty well for ourselves. Uh, get some better doggies. Actually, I haven't even put doggies on our guys yet, either. And come on. We want to get over here quickly. So we're going to lose, like, 10% stability. Yeah, we're going to lose 10% stability. Resource gain. But that's okay. That's It's worth it. Eliminate criminal elements. Infantry together for Rio. The beacon of talent. Of all civilized societies in Mexico, only the Rio Grande is a free country where ideas can be exchanged. Now Rio's heroes stretch their hands forth to uplift their amigos across the wastes. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Ah, frontier militias. Please. Please. No. Oh. It says I can, but it says no. How many times must I click? Seriously, why can't I click that? Uh... Click to remove conscription law. Oh, do you want to remove stagnation? I mean, yes. Okay, so now we can click over here. Oh, wait, maybe I should have gone up higher. Huh, so that's interesting. I had to spend 300 political power to get rid of that so I can spend 135 to get to the next one. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Huh, but hey, at least we're mobilizing. We can get more manpower. We can feel pretty good about ourselves. And industrial support. Look at that. They have a claim... It might... Do we have... Did, oh, you're fighting Santa Ana. Oh, Luchadoras, can you please go to war with them? Please? I don't want to spend political power on this. I have... Oh, you know what? I guess it's better to just, just to start now. You never know what these guys might do. And if we win the war, or when we win the war against the Sinanello Cartel, I'll give it to my ally, the Luchadoras. Uh, that'd probably be good. Yeah. Um, I don't think the election even matters anymore, so... What's going on? Ah, Nueva Atzalan is having personal problems. Not bad. Ah, good. Another division. Good. Yeah. Using these guys, we should be able to break over here pretty easily. Shouldn't really be a problem. You guys go and deploy over here. That'd be better. Uh, we have 87 factories. That's really good. Speaking of talent. Ooh, Mexican trade. Ooh. New business partners. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Dockyard, Mexican pride, I like that too. Let's get new business partners. The Rio Pact is uniting a nation, and merchants in the nation's great cities are now reaching out to one another. Viva Mexico! Very good, very good. Mineral drinkers, cool. So, oh. Texas? Oh, we can invite people to join our research group, which... Mm, that's okay, inviting people to it. I'm just gonna make, like, cowboy... Oh no, this is ranchers. That might not be good. A new power emerges in Utah. Cool. I'm probably going to make Las Granjas a commonwealth first because the ranchers might eventually get taken out by Kaiser, and I don't want to really piss off Kaiser too much yet. So Las Granjas, you are first. I think probably make it join or die. Oh, if we keep doing this, we might be able to make them just join us. That'd be cool if we get cores on them, though. Look at that. Like a good old look at this. The Rio Pact? Not bad. Not bad. Santa Ana will have to die first, though. So we'll probably got the Sinaloa Cartel, and then we'll move on down to Santa Ana and try to eliminate him with all of our allies that we currently have. I think that'd be a good idea. Go ahead and do that as well. Might as well go that way. Good, good, good. Pecos State. Ah! Montezuma. Is it Montezuma? Moctezuma. Let's go into war with some guys down there. Good. Damage screening. Nice. Get some light signals. How is this? Ooh, we might need to do a little bit of that perhaps. Maybe, maybe not. We're making some planes. I like it. Good, do that as well. Oh, oh, you're fighting both of those guys. Nice. Coto de Aguila. I don't speak Spanish, as you can probably tell. 
Naval Doctor, Mexican trade. The Rio Pact is not just an alliance. It provides stability and protection, letting commerce thrive. Very nice. Pecos State. I, I kind of want to see what happens here. This is all a discovery campaign for me because I've never played the Republic of the Rio Grande before at the time of this recording. So join or die. I have a feeling they'll probably join us since they are my puppet. I already kicked their butts once. I mean, we can kick their butts again, but I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, and after that, do that there. And... So we do that, and then do that. We're running out of places to build. But 91 factories, that ain't bad. We have manpower. Finally, Baco State. Let's see what they say. In about 50 days, and then we'll probably end the episode. Because I really want to see what's going to happen. And go ahead and add these back on, because we need more population. Are we getting some money? Yes. Actually, it might be worth clothing the people. Eh, not really. It's okay. New old gun, new weapons, government bonds. Let's see. Hopefully they say yes. Uh, uh, they should say yes. It says becomes a puppet, so... Uh, doggos. I love the doggos. We definitely need that, though. How many doggos do we have? 1.58? 5? 1.5? Uh, I can't think anymore. I'm talking fairly fast. Get some doggos on those guys. You guys are looking pretty good. These guys aren't looking too bad either, but they're going to need some dynamite eventually. How many things of dynamite do we have? That's a pretty good amount. Mexican trade? Awesome. Mexican pride. Mexico is not united, but everyone knows, whether we live by the banks of the Rio or the Pacific, that we are one people. Mexicans are the descendants of eagle warriors and conquistadors, revolutionaries and dreamers. And unlike the Norte Americanos, we didn't trash the planet. Probably. Probably didn't. So now... Hey, Estado de las Granjas. Yes, 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 yes. That's awesome. And we can make them become a statehood. Join or die. Um, I probably want to invite these guys... Well, I'm definitely going to invite Texas to this little thing first. Let's invite the Free Fighters as well. I think that'd be important. I know this video's gone for a while, but I want to see they join or die. Just give me 20 more days. 20 more days. And then we'll probably go to war with the Sin of the Wilcock Tell. Hey, look! Another one. I love it. Ooh, how many more days do we have to wait until we go to war with these guys? Five days. Five days. That's, that's enough time. Let's see. We currently get 1.77 political power a day. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, anything else around here? Sell updated equipment. You know what? We could probably use caps. Eventually, we're going to have such a big army rule, we're not going to make that many caps anyways. We can go to war with the cartel, because our ally does not want to. But they're looking pretty thick. Well, I like how thick our ally looks. And I'm just kind of waiting for over here. Let's see. we got two days. Two days, my friends. Two days. One days. They've accepted. Our offer of statehood and has become an integrated part of our glorious nation. Praise to Mexico. So... Basically, we went to war with Pecos Colony, made him our puppet, which actually saved us, you could theorize, maybe 50 political power. If we didn't go to war with them, then, eh, I don't know. We probably saved 50, maybe max. So that was definitely a learning experience for me, but we do have them as a core, which gives more population, free, more factory slots to use, but most importantly, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, continue suggesting me names for these APC divisions, which are basically our Mexican chariots. But, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow.